Today, we're taking a comprehensive look into one of winter's most breathtaking celestial sights, the majestic Orion Nebula. It was the very first deep sky object I ever photographed, and I can't tell you how excited I was the first time I saw an image that I photographed myself show up on my laptop screen. I loved it so much, I spent the entire winter photographing it again and again, and I still come back to it every winter trying to get better each time. So grab your telescopes and get ready to uncover the secrets of the spectacular winter target. At a distance of 1,344 light years from Earth, it is one of the closest large star forming regions to Earth. Just think, if you go out tonight and take a look at the Orion Nebula, you're seeing light that was emitted in the year 680 AD. It is roughly 12 light years across, which is almost three times the distance from Earth to the closest star, Proxima Centauri. Among its notable features are the trapezium cluster lighting up its core and the brilliant colors in its gases. Nearby are M43, or the Marin's Nebula, and the Running Man Nebula. It's dominated by a bright reflection nebula, which are composed of ionized gases which glow like a neon bulb, as well as fainter reflection nebula, which merely reflect the light of the stars and don't glow themselves at all. The Orion Nebula is my favorite winter target because it's both incredibly easy to observe or photograph, and it's stunning in its beauty. It's also incredibly easy to locate, being the middle star in Orion's famed sword, which makes it easy to spot even with the naked eye in light polluted cities. Under darker skies, it shows up as a fuzzy glow around the middle star even with the naked eye. Even in the city, you can see the nebula in binoculars. Uh, it'll show up as a light fuzzy area around the bright stars of the trapezium. The Orion Nebula is very easy to find. However, many deep sky objects are much harder. For help finding any deep sky object, check out my video on mobile astronomy apps. Containing a rainbow of colors and a finely detailed cloud structure, the Orion Nebula is also one of the most striking deep sky objects out there. At roughly one degree in diameter, it's a good size for a variety of imaging and viewing systems. By comparison, the full moon is roughly half an arc degree in diameter. Being bright, beautiful, and easy to find makes it an ideal target for beginners. Yet bringing out the best in it is enough to challenge more experienced astrophotographers and keep them coming back again and again each winter. If you've done much visual astronomy or astrophotography without a go-to mount, you know that finding objects can be a challenge. The Orion Nebula's distinctive structure of bright stars makes it a familiar sight to anyone who enjoys observing the night sky and makes the Orion Nebula incredibly easy to locate. It is located around the middle star in Orion Sword. Its incredible brightness compared to most deep sky objects makes it incredibly easy to photograph. It can be easily photographed using a camera and tripod, a cell phone attached to a telescope, or any astrophotography setup or smart telescope such as the CSTAR S50. For more information on how to do astrophotography on a smartphone, check out my video. If you're used to visual astronomy, you can use a cell phone adapter to attach a cell phone to the eyepiece, or even hold it up to the eyepiece by hand, although that can be tricky. If you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and a tripod but don't have a go-to mount, or a star tracker, you'll want to use an ISO of about 800 or 600 and experiment to see how long you can get the exposure without star trailing. You can use a variety of focal lengths, but preferably something in the three to 500 range. Thanks to its brightness, even if you can only get exposures of about one or two seconds without star trailing, you can still photograph this target. If you do have a go-to mount to use with your DSLR or a mirrorless camera, you'll still want to use uh, an ISO of about 800 or 600, and you'll still want to keep your, your exposure times relatively low at about 30 seconds to keep from overexposing the bright core. Of course, if you're using a C-Star S50 or other smart telescope, simply select M42 or the Orion Nebula from the list of targets and enjoy the show. For tips on Processing the images you've taken on the C-Star S50, check out my video. 
And of course, don't be afraid to experiment with different exposure time for deck techniques and see what works best. That's how you learn. Hopefully you'll find the Orion Nebula as exciting and breathtaking a target as I do. I have talked about why the Orion Nebula is my favorite winter target, as well as the excitement I had taking my very first deep sky photograph of it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section on what your favorite winter target is, as well as your very first experience photographing a deep sky object. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.